We do have some breaking news. I think this is pretty damn good news right here. Okay, so this is from Megatron. Middle finger to NATO and the USA in Slovakia. And I've titled this section The Domino Effect. Uh, remember Poland? Poland pulled the plug. They have an election coming up. And they're like, uh uh, we're losing support over here. We got to stop funding this war. And they did a 180, and it caught Blinken and Biden by surprise. And now Poland is stopping the arming of Nazis and the Ukrainian military. And they're pulling out. Why? They got pressure from their people. And they have an election coming up. The anti-American Western, anti, excuse me, the anti-American, anti-Western, and pro-Russian direction social democracy party in Slovakia, which is a leftist party, a real leftist party because they're anti-war, which is led by former Prime Minister Robert Fico, has won the parliamentary election in the country. Fico has made it clear throughout the election that his first action in office will be to immediate, to will be the immediate halt of additional military aid to Ukraine. This will happen in all future elections across 90% of Europe. The enemy of Europe is the USA, not Russia. It is the U.S. that is pushing Europe into an economic crisis, and the days of their vassal governments are numbered. Stop the war and restart economic cooperation with Russia and return to cheap oil and gas. That is what is needed for the survival of the EU. And you can see this is Robert Fico. This is from The Guardian. He doubles down on pro-Russia stance after Slovakia election win. I love the way they frame it. It's a pro-Russian stance. No, it's an mm -hmm. anti-war stance. Our our mainstream media is garbage. There are a bunch of warmongers, like the people at the Guardian too, as well. Populist uh, smear leader who has pledged to end military aid to Ukraine says it is ready to open talks on forming a coalition government. Now, the reason why I brought this there is because I want to be fair. I want to be balanced in the reporting over here. Slovakia's Slovakia's populist former prime minister. Robert Fico, who campaigned on a pledge to end military aid to Ukraine, has said his position has not changed after his party's clear election win made him a uh, favorite to lead the country for a fourth time. So this is the fourth time he's going to lead the government, right? So I have to be fair and point that out, that he is a populist leader. They are comfortable with him. But his number one issue has been to stop funding the war. So you have to make your own decision whether you think it's he, he just won because he was a populist leader and they wanted him back because they like him and trust him. Or his message, kind of like Poland's message right now, of ending the aid to the military is enough is enough. People don't want to be involved anymore and it's killing Europe because the United States has forced them to stop do, getting cheap oil and gas from the Russians. But we even did a report on it over here and we saw that Germany circled the wagons and they're going back for that cheap energy. The 59-year-old who's pro-Moscow stance the Guardian, oh please, has sparked fear Slovakia will join Hungary and its authoritarian leader, Viktor Orban, in challenging the EU's consensus on support for Kiev added, people in Slovakia have bigger problems than Ukraine. Look at the way they do it. The authoritarian leader, Viktor Orban, right? I love the way they spell Viktor with a K. Um, he, he's an authoritarian leader. Listen, I'll take the authoritarian leader that wants to end war rather than the democratic leader that wants to start war. Fico has leaned close to Orban, who congratulated him on the victory Sunday. Guess who's back? The Hungarian prime minister said on X, formerly known as Twitter. Always good to work together with a patriot. Looking forward to it. Fico said his party was not changing its view that we are prepared to help Ukraine in a humanitarian way. We are prepared to help with the reconstruction of the state. But you know our opinion on arming Ukraine. We're not going to do it anymore. So that's another domino. You got Poland. You got Slovakia. Who's next? The EU and NATO just suffered a defeat, a huge defeat in national elections in Slovakia, where, as predicted, the populist former PM, prime minister, who opposes war, support for Ukraine and NATO membership for Ukraine likely won. Three guesses as to who and what Western elites are blaming this defeat on. Russian interference <laughs> hangs over <laughs> Slovak elections, the EU warms. And wow, who could have guessed it? If the Western leader stubs their toe, it's the Kremlin's fault. Glenn Greenwald. I like what he did with the, the Bauman situation. It was Russian misinformation for Bauman. But they go to this all the time. Russia, Russia, Russia. They cry. Russia's always doing this. Russia's always doing that. But here's the thing, ladies and gentlemen. They know they're lying. They know they're lying. 
Former Prime Minister Robert Fico wins Slovakian elections because Slovakia's newly elected leader doesn't want to help uh, keep fueling the war in Ukraine with weapons shipments and partially blames the West for the war. Corporate media is characterizing him as a pro-Russian Putin sympathizer. And you can see it right there. There's CNN. Pro-Russian politician wins Slovakia parliamentary, parliamentary election. Pro-Russian ex-premier leads leftist party to win in Slovakia's election. Pro-Russia, pro-Russia, pro-Russia. Who is Robert Fico, the pro-Russian leader, <laughs> poised to head Slovakia's coalition government? Russia, 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 no matter what. Here's Ben Nor Norton. Polling found that 69% of people in Slovakia fear arming Ukraine could drag them into war. 33% of Slovakia uh, to withdraw from NATO cartel. Only 58% want to stay in NATO. That's a still a high number. Uh, and this polling was done by a biased pro-NATO EU think tank funded by the U.S., so the results may be conservative. Note, the poll allowed for both answers, which is why the, uh, the sums are larger than 100%. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Pro-Russia, pro-Russia, pro-Russia. So that's it. Slovakia says no more. They got the new leader in. The populist leader, he's back. And that's a domino effect. It happened with Poland. It happened with Slovakia. Who's next? Do you want to take a guess who's next, Misha? Oh. Pick a country, any country. I, I wish. I wish. I wish <laughs> it will be somebody. I hope it'll be somebody. Um, but I don't feel super hopeful, uh, actually. This gives me out. hope. Hey, come see us on tour. We're going to be in Tampa, Boca Raton, Orlando, <clears> Dallas, <throat> Houston, San Diego, Bloomington, Illinois, Indianapolis, and Levittown, New York. Wow, that's a lot of dates. See you there.